In today's video, I'm going to replace the upstream oxygen sensor. But first, let's get under the hood. Next, you will pull up your hood by pressing this latch under here. Use this latch to hold up your hood. The oxygen sensor is located right here. And yes, it's on the exhaust manifold. Make sure your engine is cold before you work on anything. I let my car cool off overnight and work on it in the morning. You can see I can touch it without getting burned. You can use some lubricant to loosen up the oxygen sensor. I'm using a PB Blaster Penetrate Oil Spray. You could spray more if needed because sometimes the sensor does not want to come off. And I'm going to let this soak for an hour before I proceed to the next step. Next, you're going to need an oxygen sensor socket. As you can see, there's a cut on the side of this long socket. The size of this socket is 22 millimeter. And I'm going to fit a half inch ratchet into this socket. Now let's take off this sensor. Once it's loosened enough, you could take it off by hand. Don't forget to unplug the harness. All you have to do is just follow the wire. As you can see, the wire goes under the radiator hose. And the harness plug is right here. A small flathead screwdriver will make taking off this harness so much easier. You just squeeze the top tab and pull it off. Next, you will need a 12 millimeter socket to take off this bolt that is holding down the harness. Now you should be able to easily twist off the sensor. The new part is a Denso oxygen sensor part number 234-4739. The bag comes with the sensor and a little pack of anti-siege. And now, we compare the old sensor to the new sensor. They both look identical. Even the harness part look identical. Next, I have a Duralast Oxygen Sensor Thread Chaser. The part number is 85-313. Always use anti-siege as lubricant when using this tool. There is more than enough anti-siege that came with the oxygen sensor. All you need is just a little spread like this. The reason why I'm using this chaser is to clear out any debris that is still on the thread of the manifold. You can also use this chaser to repair any damage to the thread. The next part is to take off this bracket that is still on the old harness. All you have to do is stick in a small flathead screwdriver between the bracket and the clip and it should come off right off. Since 
I didn't have any problem taking off the oxygen sensor. This is actually the hardest part of the repair for me. Finally, I got it off. Here's a closer look of the clip on the harness between the bracket. Now let's put on the bracket onto the new sensor. Just make sure the bracket is facing the correct direction and you should hear a click. And now we're done with the harness. Before installing the sensor, remember to put on some anti-siege. You will only need just a little bit, not too much. And this is good enough. And I'm just gonna throw the rest of this away. It's always a good idea to hidden tighten anything before using a ratchet. This sensor is going in very smooth because earlier I used a chaser to clear out any debris. Just remember to turn the wire as the sensor go in. Once this becomes nice and snug, you could go ahead and torque the sensor to spec. The torque spec for the sensor is 33 plus or minus 3 foot pound. It's very important to torque down this sensor because it might cause future problem. With the click of the torque wrench, let's move to the next step. First, let's clip this wire back onto the heat protector. Next, let's fish this wire under the radiator hose. And then clip on the new harness back into place. And yes, I did find the bolt that I dropped earlier when I was taking it off. I'm just gonna quickly hand tighten this bolt until it's snug. I couldn't find the torque spec connecting this bracket to the thermostat case assembly, so I'm just gonna Tighten it with the ratchet until it's nice and snug. But not too much where you could damage the thermostat case assembly. And that's it for the repair. You can go ahead and close the hood. If you're still watching this video, then I should explain why I replaced this sensor. Every time you go into your car and you insert the key and turn but not crank, you will notice that the whole dashboard will light up. And when you crank to start the car, this light should go out with the rest of the other one. And a while back, that light did not turn off so I have an emission problem. I went ahead and used my scanner to pull up the code. The code is PO421. If you do a quick Google search on this code, it'll give you a whole list of possible problems. I have used a cleaning agent to get rid of this code before, but this time I just went ahead and replaced a sensor. After the sensor was replaced, this code never came back. Hopefully, this repair will help you out too. Click the like button if you found this video useful. Subscribe for future updates. And again, thanks for watching.